Star Trek, the original series of Simon Earth. Captain Nog, using the light speed breakaway factor, the Enterprise has moved back through time to the 20th century, with our, an extended orbit around Earth, using a ship's reflective shields to remain observed, a mission historical research, we're monitoring Earth's communications to find out how our planet survived desperate problems in the year 1968. Bridge of rock, ship rocks as being forced by hit, as if being hit by something. Kurt, Kurt alert status, force fields on maximum. Leslie begins sensor scans. Bok, transport room, transport room to captain, transport room. Kurt, Kirk here, what's happening, Spock? Appears we have accidentally intercepted someone's transporter beam, Captain Bridge. Spock, it's incredibly powerful. Kirk, it's impossible. 20th century had no such transporter room. Spock, Captain, something is beaming on board this ship with this vessel. Bridge, Kirk, I'll be right there. Transporter room, Spock, beam is originating at least 1,000 light years away. Spock, no transporter room can reach that far. Not even in the North Century, Kirk enters. Kirk, something is shaking us apart. Scott, it's locked. Locked in our circuits, wide open. Well, the transporter pants has activated. Kirk, you're right, something is beaming aboard. There's a man in a dark suit holding a black cat. He steps down from the platform and speaks calmly, Seven. Why have you intercepted me? Kirk, security, security, security. Kirk's transporter room, on the double, security, on the way, sir. Seven, please identify yourself, Kirk. This is the United Starship Enterprise. I'm Captain Kirk, commanding Seven to the cat. Yes, I heard him, Iris. We're aboard a space vessel. From what, from what planet, Kirk, Earth? Seven, that's impossible. It, in this time period, there wasn't no spot. Humans with a Vulcan. You're from the future, Captain. You're going to have to bring me down to Earth immediately. Security arrived, Kirk. Play, phases on stun. Stephen, seven. Careful, Iris. All right, Captain Kirk. My name is Kerry Stephen. I'm a human being from the 20th century. I was on my way, Kirk. Humans of the 20th century. Do not go beaming around the galaxy, Mr. Stephen. Seven. Seven, I've been living on another planet. Far advanced. So I was beaming to Earth when he's intercepting me. Kirk, the location of that planet? Seven. Though he wished their existence was kept secret. Even in your time, it will remain unknown. Scott, it's impossible to hide the whole planet. Seven, impossible for you, if not for them, Captain Kirk. I am of this time period. You're not. You interfere with me. With what have you got have to do there? And you change history. You'll destroy the Earth and probably yourself too. But if what he says is true, Captain, every second we delay him could be dangerous. Kirk, what if he's lying? Seven. This is the most critical climate period in Earth's history. A planet I am from wants to help Earth survive, Kirk. What happens at, What if it turns out you're invading an alien from the future? Spock, the most difficult decision, Captain. Kirk, I can't beam you down without further proof. One the other, security confinement. Security this way, please. Kirk, sit by. McCoy, sit. McCoy, McCoy here. Seven attacks the security man. Scott Nick pinches him, but he's thrown off. McCoy, Jim, Jim, what's going on there? on there? Kirk gets a phaser to stun Stephen. Seven, as he starts to work the transporter controls. McCoy, sit bay to transporter room. McCoy's office, Jim. Jim, what's going on down there? Transporter room, Kirk. Burns, check the prisoner. You're fine in security confinement. I want a medical analysis fast. Is he or isn't he human? Captain's dog supplemental. Man, 20th century, business suit. Was he? Not even Spock's Vulcan nerve pinch could stop him. Without any foul phases, he would have overpowered all five of us. Very different, believe the mysterious Mr. Stephen Seven can be human, and yet suppose he is. Briefing room, Spock is stroking the cat who is purring Kirk. What do you make of the cat, Mr. Spock? Spock, quite a lovely animal. Captain, I find myself strangely drawn to it. Kirk, this is the captain. All science engineering and supervisual personnel lock into the briefing rooms. Our oh, next decision can be enormous consequences, not only for us, but Earth's future, entire future. You've already been given as much information as we have. Please break 
in at any time there's this of that inf- what that information navigation report check off a monitor we've analyzed the direction of his beams sir our star maps show no inhabitable planets in that area of the galaxy spock he did say that his planet was hidden captain spock engineering spock scott an engineer a monitor do not able to analyze it sir it's so powerful it fused most of the recording circuits could have you could you have brought him back through the great distance? Could have brought him back through time. There's no way to, for us to know. Kurt, Mr. Spock. Historical Paul. Kurt, Spock. Current Earth crisis would fill a tape bank, Captain. There will be an important assassination today. An equally dangerous government coup in Asia. There is a, it will be highly critical. In launching an, an, an orbiting nuclear warhead. Platform by the United States countering a similar launch by other powers. Kirk, was it all the nuclear devices one of the area's greatest problems? Spock, most definitely. Once the sky was full of orbiting H bombs, the slightest mistake to brought one down by accident, setting off a nuclear holocaust. McCoy's office. McCoy here. McCoy, McCoy here. Kirk, Bones, hurry with that report. Join me to brief him with your analysis. McCoy, alleged. Big seven tests the false field blocking the girl away. And behind the guard's back, he takes a pen from his pocket and turns the device that shuts the false field off. He also uses it to stop the guard from shooting him. Seven, you're tired. Go to sleep. A guard slides down the wall with a grin on his face. A seven makes his escape briefing room. McCoy, well, I must admit the sense of readings seem too good. Human readings, yes, not, but not a single physical look floor. Totally perfect body. Kirk, if an alien needed a body, Spock, he might be inclined to prepare a perfect one, Captain. But then again, he may be telling truth, Kirk, gentlemen. I need proof. All you telling me, what well, the one hand he may be lying, and then the other, a cat exits the room. Security, security alert. All decks alert. Prison escaped. All decks alert, Kirk. This is the Captain, form us. You're a cat, breach the Captain. Transfer circuits show... Someone's trying to beam down, cut. Try to override, shut it off. Judge order room, the cat rides, the seven finishes getting, seven controls. Seven, I know, sis, Aris. We, but we've gone before, but we've gone before they get here. They beam just away, away, just as Kurt McCoy and Spot dash into the room. Apartment main room. Spray case full of glasses splits in two with a massive safe door behind it. Locking wheel turns as the safe door opens. Grace even carrying the iris the cat walks down the fog in the main room. The safe door shuts itself behind him. It's hidden away again behind the shelves of glasses. Seven goes to the window and looks down into the street filled with people in traffic seven. You're right, Iris. It's primitive. It's incredible that people can exist like this. At least we won't have to. Not for long. Computer on. A bookcase swings open to reveal a black screen. Circle monitor. Control panel. Computer high pitch. Segato female. Computer on. Seven. Computer certified coaches of agents. Two or one. And three, four, seven. Computer identify self. Seven. Simply check my voice pattern. You find me listed superior. One nine four. Code name is Gary Seven. Computer, your voice pattern matches. I know listing or Gary Seven assigned to this planet. Keep Seven. Computer, I am class one superior. You ordered to override previous instructions. Answers my questions. Computer, I am a beta five computer. Keep of automatic decisions. Please confirm my identity as superior by describing nature of and the. Co- of the agents and mission here. Seven computer, I caution you. A little love for beta five snobbery. I ride all right. So I agents of male and female, descendants of human ancestors, taken from Earth approximately six thousand years ago. And a part of generations of training for this mission. Palmer Earth technology and science have progressed faster than political and social knowledge. Public submission to prevent Earth's civilization destroying itself before it's mature to a peaceful society. Computer incomplete, but significant. Location of agents are unreported for three days. 
So why didn't you say so in the first place? I don't ask that. So let me begin search immediately. We check all news broadcasts, decode any government intercepted message. Computer, I am aware, proper search procedures, 194, transporter room. There are no clairs at all. Of the North and Central Africa, and Middle East into the sub- Indian subcontinent, and rise of its earth. No green vegetation either. Scott, we can only speak only within a thousand meters or so. We've been down, Captain. Kirk, if we've been down, can you compare our position with his c- control setting? Scott, I, Scott, following him down, but following down is a major risk, Captain. We are by ourselves do anything that changes history. Kirk, I'm aware of that. I must know if he's lying. We can't answer that sitting up here. Here's a ship stored. Had a ship stored to prepare the proper costumes. Down and by the beam is down. Apartment main room. Computer. Response to nuclear or head places up orbit by another major power. United States today. Launching suboptimal platform. Immortality warhead capability purpose. Main balance of power. Main balance of power. Seven. The same kind of nonsense that almost destroyed planet Oregon 4. Computer, that is correct. A uh, situation similar. Mission of two, agents 2 or 1 and 3, 4, 7. Main set malfunction on violated stock states rocket. Stephen, 7. Progress of mission. Has rocket been set for malfunction? Computer negative, no progress. 7. How much time before launch? Computer, exactly 1 hour. 20 minutes, 7 minutes, 12 seconds. 7. Computer, recall the following. Unless agents are found immediately, I must undertake their mission. Street, Kirk and Spock have managed to beam down in suits and overcoats. Woolly hat for Spock, of course. Kirk, Scott, Scotty, lock in now to my position, stress the room. Kirk, lead us, uh, lead us in to him, Spock, locked in. Pers- C195 degrees true. Apartment office. A computer is fabricating an indefensive patch back papers for Stephen. A colonel with the CIA. A tenant in the NYPD. A colonel in the NSA. It is also produced a map of McKinley's rocket base. A young woman in an orange and purple mini dress lets himself in the adjoining room. Roberta. Hello, anyone there? Here? Looks like you're a lucky day, Roberta. You can't dot. You, if you don't know, you're late. Seven comes in for the main room. Seven, where you been? Roberta, oh, on the subway. Oh, the subway got stalled. Seven, where you been for the past three days? Roberta, now wait a minute. Why should I tell you? Who are you anyway? Seven, where is three from four to eight? Roberta, we're three, four, eight. Seven, one, two, oh, one. Code responses are not necessary. Roberta, listen, friend. Maybe I just better call the police right now. Seven, sit down, Roberta. Who do you think you are? Seven, I said, sit down. Roberta, okay, I will. Seven, I see one thing for you. you pay your well, well. But that is no longer necessary. I'm surveyor uh, 194, code name Gray Stephen. Seven, I made a complete report. Roberta, report? Seven. Yes, report. Everything you have for the past three day, Earth dates. It just says to the right typewriter. Roberta, oh, everything I've done. Seven, everything you've done. Roberta, oh, well, okay. Put a sheet of paper in it. Well, let's see. Seven, not with your fingers. You flicks a switch on the side of the machine. But well now, how do you expect me to type with them in my nose? Did you see that? Machine, type everything over it. Everything I've typed. Type everything I'm saying. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Turns it off. Okay, that does it. I quit. Seven, wait a minute. Roberta, I'm quitting right now. Seven, you're not acting, are you? Roberta, acting, I'm leaving, goodbye. Seven locks the door remotely with his pen. Hey, hey, seven. And if it's a green cube on the desk. Seven, tie in to the computer. Computer, computer on. Seven, scan and divide female present. Computer, Roberta Lincoln, human, profession, secretary, employed by 327 of 201. Description, A25. Five feet, seven inches, 180, 20 pounds. Hair presently tinted, honey blonde. Although behavior appears erratic, possesses high IQ birthmarks. Roberta, hi. Peter Small, a mole on the left shoulder, somewhat larger, star mark, 
shape mark on her. Hey, watch it. Okay, I'll bite. What is it? So, Miss Lincoln, Miss Lincoln, what kind of work your employees say they were doing here? We've had a research for new psychopathia, dear. No, no, seven. All right. You can go. Of course, you. if you do, you won't be helping your country unless you, you care about that. We better sure I care. What do you think I am? Seven. I don't know, Miss Lincoln. What do you think you are? Not yet. All I know is that my components and then you wear my very secret advisors, advisors of security for this nation, Roberta. Ah, oh, well, what's you, you guys? Well, what are you guys around here anyway? FBI, some kind of government go- agent, sir? Cat enters, is he? Hands him, hands up one of his new d- IDs. Say hi. Very groovy, seven. Thank you, Zaris. I'll be right. I'll be right as Zaris leaves. It's a train cat, just like a guard dog's. That, that kind of thing. Roberta, yeah? Seven, don't let anyone in here. I'll be bit, I'm busy. Roberta, okay. Street outside apartment building. Scott, Scotty, transporter room. Kirk, trans, trans violation on this location. Scott, correlated. Readings indicate a greater altitude. Approximately 30 meters higher, sir. Spot, Kirk out, computer, apartment room. Main, apartment, main room, computer. Currents, automobile accident. Location, highway 9 for 4, 9, 10 miles north. McKinney, rocket base. Agents 3, 4, 7, 2. World killed instantly, 7. It didn't make, that doesn't make sense. For them to die in something as useless as an old world accident. Are the facts verified? Computer, verified description of the body as at apartment buildings. Block. Curtain's block, step out of the elevator. Apartment 12A. Cut, go ahead, Scotty. Got proceed five meters. Two, four, seven degrees true. Arrive outside 12B. Kirk rings the doorbell. Apartment office. Seven, computer off. Roberta answers the door to the office. And the computer hide behind the director's desktop case again. Kurt, where's Mr. Smith? Where's Mr. Seven? Roberta, I don't know what you're talking about. Listen, you guys can't come in here. Kurt, where's Mr. Seven? Apartment, main room. Seven activates a self come transporter. Roberta, you can't come in here. Now get out. What do you think you're doing? This is government office. Seven picks up the iris and leaves. Apartment office. Roberta, neither one of you can come in here. Kirk, where's Mr. Seven? Roberta, this is against the rules. But I'm here, Captain. Adore the rain room. Roberta, what do you think you're doing? You want me to pick up... Want me to pick up the telephone? Send the police? Eight... Eight... Pass... East... Sixty... Eighth Street, apartment 12B. Kirk, give me the phone. Apartment main room. Seven's set in the door on the safe. Roberta, no, get your hands off me, you big jerk. What do you think you, who do you think you are? Let go, apartment office. It's a physical tussle. Three going on between Kirk and Roberto. Roberto, what do you think you're doing, you big jerk? What's the big idea, apartment main room? Roberto, Mr. Seven, Seven, help, help. Apartment room, apartment office, shock. Takes over, Buck takes over from Kirk and Manhattan and Roberto. Roberto, let go of me. Stop it. Don't go in here. What's the big idea? Get your hands off me. I mean it. She pulls off her hat. Sees his ears and eyebrows. What are you? Kurt blasts open a connecting door. Seven demilitarizes and a safe shuts itself. The killing rocket base. Carrying Iris. Seven, seven walks out of the semi area B10 and 10 hangar. Warning liquid hydrogen into the early morning sunshine or late afternoon. The shadows are fairly long. Ten I tension. They are by for launch area clearance. It's now 60 minutes to launch. T minus 60 and counting. And a big white US rocket stands gleaming on its landing gantry. Launch gantry. Apartment main room. Kirk finds the, bra- finds the rocket base lying on the table. Apartment office. Kirk. Where's Mrs. Serene? Seven. We're about to warn you. I really called the police, Kirk. Plans of McKinney's rocket base. Park building corridor. Police one. Where is Charlie? Open up there. Police. Roberto manages to shout before Spock can put his hands over his mouth. Police one. Open up there. It's the police. Apartment office. Kirk, wide scan, Scotty. We're moving, Spock. You're in here, Spock. They go into the main room and dashes to open the door to the police. But in the apartment main room. Kirk now, Scotty. Police. What's going on here? Transport room. Kirk, Scott. 
Spot the piece, two pieces were beamed up. Kirk and Spot dash off the transmission plant, leaving the two flat foot standing, slack jawed. Kirk reverse and energize. Please, one, Charlie, they beam back into apartment, watched by Roberta. The Kenny base, rocket base. Launch for control, turn on Attention, it's now 15 minutes to launch. Team is 15 counting. All systems clear, all systems clear. Standing by for inspection of launch pad. Outside launch control, seven is standing next to launch director, Conwell's car. Lipton, a security guard. You, speak to you a moment, seven. Yeah, sure, Sarge. Hands over his NSA ID. There he is, Lipton. I have to confirm this, Colonel. Damon, all right, seven. Dipton, you put that cart down and put your hands on your side. Seven, all right. Dipton, telephone. Give me security. Don't forget to check. Seven, be careful, Iris. Don't get stepped on. Dipton, yes, security. Iris vows, directing the guard. Seven, whips out the pen and zaps the guard into memorability. Seven, into the phone. Security, this is Sergeant Lipton. We're all streaming out down here. Right, thank you very much. Goodbye. All right, Sergeant. Now let's just turn around. We're going to walk this way. You just sit down right right there and have a little nap. Grinning mainly, the guard sits on the ground. And by the launch, by the bed and goes to sleep, turn I? Attention, now 55 minutes to launch. T minus 45 and counting. All systems clear, all systems clear. Launch t- control, turn I? Stand by for inspection. Launch pad. Conwell, heading for the gantry, sound alert, gantry, gantry, turn I, attention, first alert, first alert, beginning system gantry area, clearing gantry area, clear launch pad, circuit safety group, clear launch pad, all systems continue green, repeat, all systems still green, so heading for inspection of launch pad, Conwell gets in his car outside launch pad, drives away, remember, we start saw Stephen. Seven by his car, the car by his car, transport room. Scott, it's an old star river satellite in orbit below us. I can bounce off it. I could get some good views. I've oh, got it. An image of the rocket is on in the wall monitor. Scott, I can see him closer. If I could spot him, I could look on him and be my spot. Turns out he's out of sight. It's so the rocket gantry or one of the control centers. Kurt launches in forty minutes. Stand by to beam down. Continue visual scan. McKinley's rocket base. Tanoi, attention. Stand by rocket for stand by for launch area clearance. Range safety verified. Launch director now en route to rocket plant country. Confirm launch play and clear. Ground stations free. Four and seven. Stand by for confirmation. Repeat. Stand by for launch area confirmation clearance. Ground and a couple of the military men arrive in their cars at the base of the rocket. Cromwell. Hi, Jack. Nevswick. Mr. Cromwell. Cromwell. The de- launch director of Gantry. Beginning launch. Final check. Turn away. Attention. Now 35 minutes to launch. T minus 35 minutes and counting. Cromwell car boot opens and seven. Iris get out. Tie Canary Islands. Confirming now or go for launch. All stadium stations confirm go. Three officers return to their cars. Nesbitt, lock the innovator at the top. Lieutenant, time to get out of here. Lieutenant, attention, clear launch pad. Repeat, clear launch pad and gantry. The officers drive away. Seven Iris on the elevator. Heading for the top of the rocket. Outside launch control, Lipton, the guard, as seven, seven, put to sleep. Wakes up as Kirk and Spot beam in, Lipton, freeze. One move and you both had it, launch control, security. Intruder alert, intruder alert, security to launch director. We have a term of a divide of intruders, male, a pair. Do you want to delay countdown? Apartment main room, Roberta is taking to, talking to the green crew, Roberta. All right, don't answer. Don't you? But can you tell me him I quit? You tell him I promise not to tell anyone anything. He's safe. You're safe, my little green friend. The box flashes twice. Same as to you. On you to you. She sits at the desk and actually knocks the desk pen. Controls the safe door. Intrigued, she investigates. The Kinley rocket base. The crowd is gathered a few moments away to watch the launch. Turn on. Attention. 20 minutes to launch. T minus 20 minutes and counting. All systems continue green. Repeat. All systems still green. Rocket gantry. Seven is lying 
a round, long, one of the girders supporting the rocket at a control panel. Alexis, RS is me our instructions, Stephen. Yes, thank you. I know how to open it with a vigorous pen. I know he's, there's not much time. He starts fiddling with the wiring inside. Control. Built to control two communicators and two phases on the launch controller's console. Now into the bus is doing the interrogation, Neswick. These are all they were carrying, Tanoi. T minus fifteen minutes and counting, Neswick. You have a chance. I offered this only once. The slightest possible charges be brought against you if you identify yourselves and tell us why you're here. Tanoi to the delay countdown. Commold, no sign of trouble on my boards. Launch director confirmed status all systems. Tiny control the launch director confirming. Status control indicates all is well. Bay flight conditions measures out as planned. Commold, continue countdown. Tiny no count delay. Repeat, no delay. All systems are green and go. All systems are go. Look at Tiny. Tiny, T minus 14 and counting. Seven, meow. You know this, aren't you? Dull. All right, I'm going as fast as I can. Launch control, turn on T minus 13 minutes. I'm counting. Stage board looks good. Stage look good. All sisters go. Stage board says go. And the room, Scott is continuing his visual search. The seven and finally spots him at the top of the rocket. Scott, in security, send two men up here right away. Launch control, turn on T minus eight minutes and counting. All sisters go. Status ball go. Apartment main room. Roberta's filling with the safe door. Folly makes it open. Roberta, no. Transporter room. Scott, stand by. I'm going to beam up. On the grand tree, seven feels the transporter effect. Sits up. Hold the iris in the apartment. Uh, Roberta fiddles the knobs on the inside the safe door and pulls him down from the enterprise. Scott, I had him, and something knocked him away. Apartment main room. So even gets up the floor of the safe. Sam, so, what are you doing? I wasn't finished, Roberta. I'm sorry, I touched that button right here. And then, wow, Stephen, you must have been, have been sipped to the enterprise, trying to beam me up on board. Computer on. Day case books opens up. Sam, so, look into the launch side scan. Computer, one minute to launch. Roberta, oh my gosh. Captain's log, supplemental Spock and an iron custody. Even if they thought they wouldn't believe us. They're proud to stop Mr. Seven, prevent the launch. Or we'd be certain if we should. I never, if I, if we should. I have felt, never felt so helpless. Apartment, bit, green room, computer. Five seconds to launch for better. Hey, look, man. Leave the CIA would do all this. Launch control, 10 IT, minus 20 seconds, Spark. Stage of Pauline. Launch, ready for launch. Automatic with sequences. You're completely automatic now. Computer, main room. Computer, 15 seconds to launch. 10 seconds. Launch control. Turn on. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nation. We have ignition. NSA footage of powerful rocket lifting off and being trapped by radio telescopes. Turn on. Add to 1,000 feet. All good, all is planned, directory, normal, normal. Apartment main room, computer, rocket, passing, 20 mile arc, accelerating, 7. Computer adjustments at the, at the rocket space, not complete. Can I still take over the rocket as planned? Computer, rocket control, possible, receiver circuits, operate, already manually, 7. Receiver, receiver manual. Lock into flight territory. Visual off. If Erda backs away and picks up the telephone, I ask me as a warning. Seven. Use his pen to control server the controlled. Seven. Roberta, please don't let try to leave. The final door's locked. Are you jealous, Iris? It's most unbecoming. Computer rocket out to now 100 miles. Standing by to begin malfunction as planned. Seven. Begin malfunction in third stage. Computer. Receiver. Starting out zero five zero nine by now nine zero point zero eight seven nine zero point nine zero eight computer second stage ready to detach com seven computer on, visual on the computer second stage com detaching famous shot of the rocket stage falling back to earth computer first stage reuniting seven begin malfunction take it off course computer malfunction setting correct Rocket varying from planned course. 
Lord Control, Cornwell. Give me the readings fast, Nesbitt. What is it? The Cornwell, malfunction. Rocket is deviating from program flight path. Tires, safety, standby, distract. Continuing of de- deviation from flight path. Repeat, deviation confirmed, increasing. Trimity control, transmitter systems, tie in. All systems, tie in, report. Apartment, main room. Seven, arm the warhead. Computer, accomplished, worker warhead now armed. Set receiver, 9.1.2. 9.1.218. Roberta picks up cigar box. 7. It's either 9.7218. Bridge, you're always scanning broadcast in different languages. Scott. Scott's here. Check off. Sensor shows a rocket has armed itself, Mr. Scott. Sulu, computers indicate an impact somewhere in the hot zone your Asia continent. Check off. We still have time to enter the coast orbit and destroy it. The phaser, sir. You are there, beginning to worry on Earth, Mr. Scott. Transport room, you are. I'm getting military alerts for major power, Scott. I've got to risk calling the captain. Lieutenant, area, open the channel. Bridge, aye, aye. You are, aye, aye. Launch control. Turn away, our oh, head. Status confirmed. She's armed as herself somehow. Repeat. His bird is armed. The warhead's alive. All balls uh, uh, report stages. Stand by for um, tr- stand by instructions. Stand by to transmit tr- distract signal. Eswick, how could that warhead arm itself, Cromwell? We don't know, Eswick. You can destroy it, of course, Cromwell. If we can't, we're going to lay in a H-bomb or someone, but he's somewhere. Ready to distract signal, distract. Tunnel to transmit distract signal. Transmission, transmit distract signal. Cut picks a turn communicator, but Limpton, he's a chirp as he opens it. Limpton, get back over here, there. Transmit reporter room, main, apartment main room. Roberta hits seven ahead with a cigar box. Roberta, look, I'm sorry, but you, like you asked me. I do care about my country. And you ain't no, can't be CI. He takes his pen for his pocket. Computer, old old platform separating. We better hold it. Seven. Computer, record status. We better hold it, Mr. Seven. I'm telling you, you're free monkeying around my rocket, country's rocket. Computer, warhead still armed. Six minutes to impact. We better hold it. Don't move. You did enough already. Seven. You've got to let me finish what I started. In six minutes, World War Three begins. Cue to flight. Path continuum target. Launch control. The tunnel destruction is is fouled up somehow. Flight control. She's coming down, fully armed. She's going off at impact. Come on, what? Try again. Boost the signal. Tunnel. Boosting signal. Boosting signal. Flight control. We have a boosted destruct signal. Repeat. Destruct signal is at maximum boost. Scott over the open communicator. Captain, can you read me? I uh, beam me up, Mister Seven, and something yanked him away from me. Linton, hello? Hello, come in, Spock. Here, let me help you. Sorry, it's open this this doll here. Nick pitches Linton and Kirk gets to the communicator. Tony, we're going, getting no response. Cromwell, I make absolutely certain. Check everything again, Tony. Tracking stations report, no response or distract signal. Kurt Scott, okay, beam us directly to Simmons' apartment. Tony, as enemy transmitters, check out flight control. She hasn't been struck. Hasn't distracted herself. Repeat, destruction is not working. She's still up there. Do you read? Descending and armed. Descending and armed. She go off on impact. The Bermuda ground station reports she's up, still up there. South Africa ground control reports no response and boosted destruct signal. Colonel picks up the red phone. Court, get me the president. Apartment, main room, computer, rover, like descending and accelerating. Do you have further instructions? 194. Seven, Roberta, you've got to believe me. Look, a truly advanced planet doesn't use force. They won't come here in strange alien forms. Best of all, puffer methods would be, would be take human beings to their world, train them for generations until they didn't, they weren't needed here. Roberta, Mr. Seven, I want to believe you. I do. I know this world needs help. That's why some of the generation are kind of crazy rebels. You know, we wonder... We're going to be alive when you're, we're 30. Give you two minutes to make impact. Kirk, hold it right there, Mr. Seven. We're better. Oh no, Kirk. Spock, you're, you're the expert. Can you detonate warhead from this computer? 
Spot, I'll try, I can try, Captain. Give me the altitude, 550 miles, 7, Captain. I want that all ahead of detonator 2. D, then, 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 Unless I do at least, I, unless unless I do at least a hundred miles above ground, there will be the bunny time to frighten them out of this arms race, Scott. Captain Munzers show all major powers of full alert, missile alert. We try to strike all the warhead impact. Clear altitude four hundred and fifty miles. Cut spot. But I ask me some of this, Captain. But without, but without more, more time, seven, Captain. You can only guess. You please let me do my duty, Kirk. I know what your job is. You may set your controls so we can't detonate all the warhead. Without a pen, a pen of Kirk. Listen, you. Get away from him. Seven, the grabbing a pen from her. We better be careful. The servos are set to kill. Hands a pen to Kirk. Computer asks you 400 miles. Seven, there are only seconds. I need time to set it. We better, please. You're telling the truth, computer. Five, fifty five seconds to impact. Kirk Spot, you can't handle it. I'm going to leave. Have to trust him. Well, it's difficult to know what is which is best, Captain. Give me the thirty seconds and pat. But without facts, this decision cannot make. Can be not made logically. You must rely on your human intuition. Kirk, attitude three hundred miles descending and accelerating. Kirk, go, computer. Thirty seconds accelerating. Seven. Computer, go to vigil. Count by second tens. Computer, one hundred. 90 miles, 180 miles, 170 miles, 160 miles, 150, 141 miles, 40, 130, 120, there's a bright flash, flash, flash detonation, 104 miles, big size of leaf around. Later, Gary Stephen, detecting a port to a special typewriter, Kirk and Spock with backing uniform. Seven. In spite of the extent of appearance of history, the Earth ship from the future, mission was completed. But correction, Mr. Stephen, it appears you we do not fear. But everybody was not was part of what was supposed to happen on this day in 1968. Suddenly, the ISIS transformed to black, from a black cat to a dark-haired woman, black outfit. Kirk, or our record tapes show that on, um, although not generally revealed, that on this day, a manufacturing submarine wide was exploded exactly 104 miles above the Earth. Seven, so, anything happened that way, Supposed to, Buck, and you'd be pleased our records show it resulted in a new, stronger international agreement against the use of such weapons, Roberta. Would you mind letting, telling me who that is? So, and that's Miss Lincoln. It's simply my cat. But your cat? She's a cat again, who decides to scratch behind her own ear. Seven. What else do you recall record show, say, show? Kirk, I'm afraid we can't reveal everything we know, Mr. Spot, Seven. Captain, Spot Captain, we could say that it was Mr. C and Miss Lincoln had some interesting experience in store for them. Kirk, yes, I think we could say that. Two of you, to be much, Scotty. But live long and prosper, Mr. Seven. Kirk, and the same to you, Mrs. Lincoln. Energize.